to be now welcoming you once more to my channel guy you know what we do here already so today we have i would say it's like a collective haul but i would want to say one i have some adiexpress stuff so i thought i should show you guys um i've been getting some good stuff from adiexpress lately i will just briefly show you guys and then i probably will do a separate adiexpress haul i also have some jewelry that i got from um Shein. I didn't get much. I got some clothes. I don't like them and I, so I don't know where I put them. And then I have a lot of Bottega dupes bags. So I thought I'd share that with you. So without further ado, before we go um, rumbling too much and so the video don't be too long, we're going to start with the jewelry. I will first of all start with the um, Shein so I can get it. Um, yeah, the first jewelry I got from Shein is this earring. I already have it in my ear. As you guys know, I have been seeing a lot of YouTubers, um, star and non-star upcoming YouTubers been showing this. I did order it. <laughs> I accidentally ordered two, but I gave one to somebody. And it's a beautiful um, earring. I can see why. Um, everybody likes it. It's really beautiful. I like that it's not too deep of a color. And I love the style. It's big. It's not heavy. It's not weighty. Because for me, I just can't do heavy earring. And it's just perfect. The next earring I did get from Shein is this dangling earring. I have not tried it yet, but it's not heavy in the hand. So I assume that it's not going to be heavy in the ears, I hope um yeah so beautiful our list of price i think this one was dollar fifty or dollar 75 cents they were not more than two dollars guys so yeah beautiful earring like rather beautiful but it's a little bit on the yellow side so it's more almost like a 22 or 24 carat whereas this one look like a um 14 to 18 carat the next one, I have the smaller one to it. We all know this um, Bottega dupe earrings. Um, I did buy two, one small and one gold in the small one, silver in the small form, AliExpress. But when I saw this one, it's the bigger one on Shein. And I tell you, I kid you not, I really love it. I'm going to order more. So just in case if I lose it, I have it. It was like three bucks, two or three dollars. So nothing wrong with me getting the extra um might get me a saver just for the sake of it uh, since it's two dollars but these are beautiful we all know everybody been having that um yeah really cute i don't want to try these on because um we all have seen it but it's really a pretty earring it's really is big so when i put it on it is big like this it really is it's beautiful um a little bit heavy on my ear like i said it's just me my ear is very sensitive so that's the reason why so for the next jewelry i think i have one more earring i got this little store like a store in a diamond just something i could wear when i'm running to work so i don't be too boring um and that's right here it's really it's pretty too i've worn this already a couple of times and really beautiful and that's all for the earrings i did not get any necklace but i did get me a couple of rings i have this ring and i love it sorry if my hand is white my hair continuously being white because i wash them a couple of times i don't care how i order them it always white but forgive me guys um yeah so i got this ring this first one i love how it look like i just love the uh, style of it and i got this one this is like a um van cliff dupe kind of like it and this is just two separate rings i think they came three stackable rings and i have them on this finger and plus i also got this one i think it came with this stack as well so they were all supposed to be stacked like that and then um the next one is the intended band i really like it um and it's the only one that a little bit big the rest of them is kind of like small for my finger but this is how it look like and also this one as well it's pretty i thought i got it in a size medium but it still seems to not fit and then this 
soft lash is not going to fit in. Guys, continuing the jewelry, I got me three pieces from a private seller. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. One of them is this right here, this Chanel choke necklace. This dupe, I love it. It has two sides to it. It has the blank side and it has the plain side. I wish it could stay on the blank side, but it keeps turning to the plain side. But this necklace is really pretty. I will come a little closer so you guys can have a look. It is really pretty. So you can wear it longer and you can wear it shorter. And I believe I got this for 20 something dollars. So it wasn't too bad. The next one I have is this dupe of the Tiffany bracelet. This is just really dainty and small. I thought it was much more bigger than that, but it's really dainty and small, pretty. And I think this was like 14 or $13. And that's not bad at all. Um, it goes on the hand. It really is, is small. Some, you will feel like it's for a kid, um, but it's flexible. I'm hoping I don't break it. Look like it's going to break. Uh oh. I was able to get it on my hand the other day. So let's get it on this hand. And that's that. And the last thing I got from the private seller is this brush. I don't have a lot of brush, and I thought it would be nice for me to get this. This is really nice. So I don't even think I have a brush. This would be my second brush, I think. And it is pretty it might have been like you seen 10 or something dollars for it and this other bangle on my hand i got this from tj maxx it's by the brand house of hollow i got this for 9.99 chunky jewelry i have a very tiny wrist so definitely you know it's not going to stick in my, on my hand and it's not one of those that you can um adjust it's not adjustable so pretty and the last jewelry i have in this haul is this coach um house necklace i think another brand i don't remember which one of the fashion house have this brand but another brand have this necklace and this is the coach version to it um the little bag i love the chain detailing i love the um contrast of the gold a uh, yeah this i got from tj maxx and i believe i paid 40 dollars for this all right so guys that's it for the jewelry next i'm going to go into quick pieces of clothes on adi express the first one being this dress that i have um i love the sleeve this is like a mini dress. It's really short, but what I love about this dress is the sleeve, the big uh, sleeve. I thought it was going to be a little bit more thicker, but it's thin, but it's also kind of okay for the spring and summer because although it's a long sleeve, but it's not warm, it's not hot, and it's thin, and then plus it's really short. It's a short dress, so yeah, that's what I kind of like about it. I believe this dress was about... 20 something dollars the next piece i got from aliexpress even though we no longer um during the uh winter time but this is a zara dupe jacket y'all they hit this thing right on the neck but as you can see it's by the brand identifier that's where i get my zara pieces from every now and then they will have like this zara piece on there so i go on there and i buy them i love this sweater every time i wear this sweater everybody kind of like really like it and this what sweater was about 30 something dollars and zara i think sell this for like 60 bucks the next piece from aliexpress is another zara dupe this one have no need it just said medium uh zara had this sweater on the website it have the three gold buttons the only difference i see with this one right here it's like a crochet uh sweater it still have the three um gold button which i love it have two pocket but it's a little bit short it look like it's short 
so yeah um but it's pretty and this was about 25 to 28 dollars the next piece i got here it's another zara kind of dupe dress i got from the same store and this store is called Tefa. that's where i always buy my zara dupe from this is so thin i was a little bit disappointed with this because most of the clothes that i get i am like kind of encouraged with it but this one the workmanship was not up to the tats but it's still it's a beautiful dress i love the shoulder area i love the shoulder area so hopefully because it's black when i wear it get ready to wear it it's not too revealing i'm hoping but here um is this is like a midi dress it have a tiny little uh split in the back but like i said it's a zara dupe as well um but you can see through this thing like it's really is transparent and this was about less than 15 dollars the next zara do piece i got is this top zara had this top on the website for like i believe it might have been 60 to 70 bucks but i got this and i think i paid 20 dollars for this is it don't have no name like i said it came and it said yh but the tag when you look in the back it's almost like something that zara and mango would do and it's in the medium um and yeah beautiful top i got it in the red color i can't wait to start this and see how it will come out you guys know i do a lot of reels now so once i start this for a reel you'll be the first person to see it i love the asymmetrical uh, aspect on this top it comes down and it goes all the way down and it's really pretty the last dress i have to show you guys here it's not a zara dress it's actually a dress that I bought for on this Facebook marketplace. I believe they sell Uzo or U something. Um, actually, this is the name of the website. Uz. I don't know if it's Uz Uzi. And I. So this was for me an experiment for like what what I order versus what I got definitely i got what i order because when you're looking at clothes online you don't know um the quality so you're not feeling it sometimes you might be able to get a sense the material is a polyester it's cotton it has spandex in it whatever they say but with this one i wasn't sure but when i tell you i really love this dress i already made a reel of this dress the buttons come down it also have a little bit of asymmetrical um stuff on the side and then what makes the dress even more beautiful it have a little long tie in the back it's not meant to be tied but you can tie it if you want and then just one of them will be longer than the other one beautiful dress i really 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 love this dress and this was i think 30 max we are going to show you i'm going to show you I don't know if I want to because I want to do like a home, but we can always come back and see it. But I got this glasses from um, Ali. I was surprised when it came in this case because I know Ali had been doing a lot of dupes. But when it came, I wasn't mad. I paid $40 for this baby. Guys, it came like, it got everything on it i promise you when i bought it i was i did not know because i know lately Addy haven't been doing any kind of designer rep it had been strictly dupe but this came like this and i was like oh my word and when i tried this thing on i went cuckoo gaga if you don't know what i mean I am a sunglasses girl. I love sunglasses. I don't hate this thing. This is my 42 bucks right here. $42. And I love, love me, love me, love me, love me. The sunglasses. Really pretty. So yeah, I will be coming back with you with my AliExpress haul because I ordered a couple of shoes. I'm hoping 
the what I think they are and I will do that in like a starting video for you guys but yes that's the first sunglasses and then quickly I don't know I want to do a separate haul but since I got it I'll just do it I got me these sunglasses from on Poshmark it's a uh, Tom Ford authentic Tom Ford sunglasses but it's like really big. I didn't know it was that big. This tag on the look like a nutshell rack tag. I didn't know that it was this big. So I'm stuck with it. It is cute though, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's like this wrap around sunglasses. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but yeah, I love that you can wear this in though because it's kind of like really trans. You can see everything. And I believe I paid 90 bucks for this. And the next sunglasses I have here is my Max Mara. I got this directly. I put it in the Tom Ford box because it never came with a box. That's one thing Lushman Rack doing that I don't like. They do not give you cases for this thing. But this is a Max Mara. I don't know how I feel about it too. I didn't know that it was a wraparound. I was hoping it, it was just like a big sunglasses, but it is a wraparound as well. And this was on sale for $99 in Nash Gram Rack. I bought it online. And this is how it looked like. I'm a sucker for sunglasses. It wasn't what I wanted it to be, but it still is a designer sunglasses. And it's still cute. This too is transparent, so you can translucent kind of, sh um, so you can wear it indoor, like if you're on an indoor uh, concert, you can definitely wear this. And the last sunglasses I have is my all-time favorite. I went to Ross, and when I saw this in there, my local Ross, I, I was like, I've been looking for something like this. We're coming home, we're coming home, we're coming home. It's this Gucci uh, large sunglasses. I will Google the name and put it on here for you guys. But this sunglasses is right now my favorite. Um, until I can see something else to be this. But this is my absolute favorite. I love it, love it, love it. This was around 200 and some change. And I don't regret it because I saw one in Oshkorn Rack and that was going for strictly $350. So a little bit of a uh, savings on this one. And lastly, for for accessory, I have this um shoes. Like I said, I'm going to come to you guys with some kind of luxury, quicker luxury haul. But this is a, my Marco Cost collection. So this is not Marco Marco Cost. This is the Marco Cost collection. So Marco Cost is divided into two categories. He have the lower end brand, and now he making a higher higher end brand, which is the Marco Cost collection. I got this from on Guild. I told you guys when I'm looking for designer pieces, I go to Guild when they are having the sale. This was a 90% of this sale. I didn't see it earlier, so by the time I got there, everything that I like was already sold out. This is not my size, but I thought I'd take a risk because of the price. This retail for $700 and i got it on sale for 65 dollars for a marco cost collection of belly bear um cream nude kind of sandals there is no way i was leaving this behind this is 100 percent made in italy so this is 39 and a half which is 9.5 which is my u.s size but when italian made it's a little bit small for me 40.5 fits better so it's a little bit or size uh smaller i try it on it felt a little bit tight but we're going to stretch this baby because i am so happy i got a michael cost collection in my closet for 65 dollars where will you find it this sell for 695 dollars so no ma'am we're keeping this so yeah that's that now we're going to go to the handbags i'm going to show you my new and before i show you my bottega dupes actually we will do the bottega dupe as a separate video because i don't want to make this too long so we're going to go to my new in our uh, handbags that i just recently purchased so my first new in i got this seller i met 
somewhere and i bought this bag i had ordered another bag but it was sold out so i took this one um i think unfortunately i'm not figuring out how to to settle this bag so it is not settled for me yet but this is a chivonji do bag it is one of those large bag and that you can actually um it's really large it's a travel bag they let the uh letter on this bag look like a i don't know if it's patent letter and uh, letter sorry i got my inliners in i just put it into this so my mouth hurts <laughs> so i think this is patent let letter um and um the bag is cute it has some weight to it because i have nothing in here besides the dust bag and it is heavy it have an actual weight to it um and you can close this bag on the side but my thing is when i close it i don't like how it looks like it's cushed too bad but that's the only way you can close it you have to push it down to get it to close i believe unless there's another way i'm missing but i feel like that's the only way you can do it so you squish the bag to make it a little bit small but then i don't like how it folds so it's not folding well like it's not giving me that shape that I wanted to give me, but we're going to figure it out. We already have the bag. There's nothing we can do about it. The bag is really large in it, a real large bag. And it have, uh, it don't have no deco. It just have one big pocket inside pocket. And it has some silver, so this is black and silver with some stars on the side. Um, this bag was going, it was less than three. I don't know how I feel about it, I guess, because I'm not getting this this cush that I wanted on the side, I'm not getting that definition I want, so I think it's kind of bothering me. But I'm gonna work around with it and play with it and see how it is. So, this is my new ink. Another new in from the same seller is this bag right here. I grabbed me this bag from the seller. We know what it is. It's a dupe of the Loewe Ve bag. Um, I think Loewe Ve kind of like um, did a collaboration with another designer. And when I saw this, the African in me came out. That's what I picked this up. I didn't know it was this small, but it's not too bad because I have a lot of big bags. So that's cool. And it came with a little dust bag. It came with a scrap. I don't know how to put a scrap together. I'm going to have to figure it out. It came with some little stuff. I already took out whatever I put on there and I put it in the stuff. But this is the opening of the bag. It opens like that. So you can carry the bag um, like this. Uh, and it also have a zipper on the side i believe if you want to make it a little bit bigger you could by taking off the zipper and just leaving it like that um it have i don't know if this pocket here is functional i thought they have a little small functional pocket on the side right here and i think that's about it for this bag nothing to wear I'm also trying to figure out how to put this back together. I have to go watch a YouTube video. And so that's my other new in. And my last new in is this right here. Uh, my, Louis Vuitton, uh, my Louis Vuitton uh, scrub bag I got from a store on eBay. And I think I pay around two. It have a little bit of... Um, how you call a defect right here which is not kind of it don't affect the bed in any kind of way um i think there's something i can do to help me seal like you burn candle water you put it right here i'm going to burn a candle and put it in the east inside and it kind of like put that scroll scroll together so it don't get worse so the tearing don't get worse and this bag retail for $400, I believe, and this is how it is. 
Um, so I'm set for the summer when it comes to beach bag. I already have a beach tote bag, which is this one. All right, guys. So this is going to be the end of this video. I wanted to add my Boteca dupes bags, but it's going to make the video so long. So I'm going to do a separate video for that. And if I didn't say, my name is Sabina from another new Aspire Beauty here on YouTube. To all my returning subscribers, welcome. And to everyone that subscribed to my channel of recent, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all your support. Every time you hit that subscribe button, it just make a creator happy because there's a lot of work. And thank you for your time because I know it takes time and effort to watch the videos. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. And uh, let me your suggestion. Let me know what you like. I used to do um, DH haul, but YouTube is not having that with me. So I'm trying to be a good girl, a good citizen. But let me know if in any ways there's something you like. If I can help you find something, let me know. I will help you. And to anyone that was browsing through, if you wonder what we do here, we are all about fashion on a budget we like to look good with our spending that money we believe you can be beautiful you can look expensive at any price range it's not about how much you pay it's about how you wear it that's our belief so yes this is what we're all about so until next time i will see you in the next video and remember to be safe and have a beautiful week bye loves